I just want to tell you three brief stories about presentations and ways in which I learned to manage my nerves. The first one was with the very first funeral I ever did. It was the cremation of a friend's father, so I was nervous on the one hand, knowing the person who had died, but also nervous that this was my very first cremation. And when I stood in the little pulpit, this was the sign that was sitting in front of me. So I was quite nervous as well to think that the time was limited in which I had to do the service and that an alarm might be sounded if I didn't finish on time. The second story is about the very first time I included a YouTube video um, in, a, in a PowerPoint presentation and was, it was at a medical school. So I phoned them beforehand to make sure that um, they had all the equipment and that they had sound as well so that the video would play. When I asked them that, I was told, well, this is a medical school. Of course, we've got all that equipment. And yet when I got there, the audio wasn't working. So it was really fortunate, the actual little video clip I was showing was from the film The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie and I'd watched it so many times that I actually knew uh, the, the, the clip word for word. So although I can't take off the accents of um, teenage Scottish girls, I did manage to do a voiceover and at the end of the little video clip I got a round of applause. The third story I want to tell you about is when I had to do a sexual health presentation at a conference in Manchester. It was in this huge um, theatre or opera house, quite a modern build, and I was to be on the main stage following the chief nurse for England. So after she had finished her presentation, people were told they could either stay for mine or they could go to a breakout room um, to, to hear a totally different topic. So I walked up onto the stage and went to the podium, but the spotlights were so bright in my eyes, I could literally only see the people sitting in the front two rows. So I didn't know if there was anybody else in the auditorium. There was a good microphone system, so I knew my voice was being transposed everywhere, but I still kept my head up, looking around the whole audience as if I could see them there, just in case there was anybody sitting further back. And it was only later on that day that one of the organisers came up to me and he said to me, you're a bit of a people puller, especially with the topic of sexual health, aren't you? And I said, what do you mean by that? And he said, well, do you know how many people were in the audience? And I said, I haven't got a clue. I could only see two rows. He said, well, put it this way. We've got 700 people on this conference and only 30 went out to the other room. So I actually had 670. So these are just three little stories to show you that lots of people do have nerves, especially when presenting, maybe presenting for the first time or you're fairly new to it, or presenting to different audiences or larger ones, um, different professional groups. There are lots of reasons that can um, um, trigger, trigger off feelings of nervousness. But the key point is to look at how you can manage that best and to use it for your delivery.